Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about acute pancreatitis on ultrasound. First, we will look at specific lab tests which are helpful in diagnosing pancreatitis. Two main blood tests are used, serum amylase and serum lipase. Usually, in acute pancreatitis, serum amylase is elevated typically three times the upper limit of normal and serum lipase is also elevated. These elevated values strongly suggest pancreatitis. However, in a few pancreatitis cases, serum amylase and lipase levels can be normal but it is very rare. These lab test findings along with ultrasound findings help in the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis. We will compare the normal image of the pancreas with acute pancreatitis. The transverse plane is very helpful in imaging the pancreas. This is the normal pancreas in transverse plane. The liver can be used as a window to scan the pancreas. This is the pancreas. It has three main parts which are visible in transverse plane, the head, body and tail. In the image, the head is seen on the left side which is the right side of the patient. The normal AP diameter of the head is less than 3 cm approximately. The body is in the middle. Normally, it is less than 2.5 cm in diameter and the tail is seen on the right side in the image which is the left side of the patient. The tail usually measures less than 2 cm approximately. The pancreatic duct which is sometimes visible usually measures less than 3 mm in diameter in normal cases. The normal pancreas has a homogeneous echo texture. It is more hypoechoic in younger patients and in older patients it becomes hyperechoic. The echogenicity increases with increasing age. Behind the pancreas is the splenic vein. This is the splenic vein behind the body and tail. The superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein join together to form portal confluence or SMV and splenic vein confluence. In the image on the right, we have a case of acute pancreatitis. The pancreas is inflamed so it will be enlarged. The pancreas appears swollen. You can clearly see an enlarged pancreas. Also, there is hypoechoic peripancreatic fluid which is normally not present. A swollen pancreas with peripancreatic fluid strongly suggests acute pancreatitis. In a few cases, the echogenicity of the swollen pancreas may be normal. This is a different image showing the normal pancreas in transverse plane. The pancreas does not appear enlarged. This round hypoechoic or anechoic structure is the superior mesenteric artery. It is seen behind the splenic vein. Posterior to the superior mesenteric artery is the aorta. These structures will be seen pulsating in a live ultrasound image. The IVC is seen adjacent to the aorta and this hyperechoic structure with shadowing is the spine. Over here is another case of acute pancreatitis. We can clearly see a swollen enlarged pancreas. The echogenicity appears normal but the gland appears enlarged and there is hypoechoic peripancreatic fluid. 
In some cases of acute pancreatitis, you may find an enlarged, hypoechoic, and heterogeneous pancreas. Another feature to note is the hyperechoic inflammatory fat seen next to the pancreas. This is the hyperechoic inflammatory fat. This is a normal pancreas in an older patient. The echogenicity of the pancreas is higher than the echogenicity in previous normal images. With advancing age, there is fatty replacement of the pancreatic parenchyma, which is the reason it appears hyperechoic, but it still has a homogeneous echo texture and the size of the gland is normal. In the image on the right, the pancreas is enlarged and has irregular margins. Irregular margins can be seen in cases of acute pancreatitis. You can also notice the hyperechoic inflammatory fat surrounding the inflamed pancreas. This is another case of acute pancreatitis. You can see an enlarged pancreas with irregular margins. The gland is more hypoechoic. The pancreas has an anterior bowing, which is not present in a normal pancreas. This anterior bowing is another feature seen in acute pancreatitis. In this image, you can see a heterogeneous enlarged pancreas along with hypoechoic peripancreatic fluid. The pancreas has irregular, ill-defined margins. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.